The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST Humanity's Latest Cosmic Eye. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is humanity's latest cosmic eye, reaching out across unimaginable distances to capture light that has journeyed for over 13 billion years. This light, however, tells us more than just a story of time. It reveals the evolution of our universe, shaped and stretched by its ongoing expansion. As we peer back at the most distant galaxies, we're virtually witnessing an ancient era, moving closer and closer to the inception of the cosmos, the Big Bang. The Big Bang Theory and its challenges. The Big Bang Theory, a foundational narrative of modern cosmology, boldly suggests that our universe had a distinct beginning and is finite in age. Yet, from its inception, this singular cosmic origin has been met with skepticism, and challenges to its validity persist even in mainstream cosmology. For decades, the Big Bang Theory held strong, especially after the discovery of the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB, in the 1960s. This background radiation, a faint, all-encompassing hum across the universe, aligned perfectly with predictions of a hot, dense early universe. However, groundbreaking observations by the JWST in recent years have revived old doubts and raised new questions about the Big Bang's legitimacy. Through the astonishing clarity of JWST, NASA's Cosmic Time Machine, we've seen clusters of ancient galaxies far larger and more numerous than expected, challenging our understanding of the universe's earliest stages. As the telescope peers back to the time when the first galaxies formed, it offers humanity an unprecedented view, one that the Hubble Space Telescope couldn't fully access. Hubble was simply not sensitive enough to detect the extremely faint, redshifted light of these earliest galaxies. But with JWST's state-of-the-art capabilities, we are now gazing all the way back to the brink of time itself, exploring the early universe. As we journey into this unknown territory, we come face to face with an age-old enigma. How did the first galaxies truly form, and does the universe as we know it really have a single, definitive beginning? The earliest universe was a hot, opaque place so dense that light itself could not freely travel. This means that no matter how powerful our telescopes, we cannot observe any further back with light alone. However, we are not limited to light alone. New technological advancements are opening the door to the detection of gravitational waves from colliding black holes, which could serve as a fresh avenue to peer back into the universe's infancy, perhaps even into the very phenomenon we call the Big Bang. The Roots of the Big Bang Theory and Growing Skepticism The roots of the Big Bang Theory and its growing skepticism stretch back to the 1920s and 30s, when astronomers first observed that distant galaxies appeared to be moving away from us. This discovery, coupled with Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, set the stage for the Big Bang model. Einstein's equations predicted that a static universe would be unstable, requiring either contraction or expansion. Observing this expansion suggested that galaxies must have been closer together in the distant past, implying an explosive beginning for the universe. The universe's expansion has several profound implications. Not only do objects move farther apart, but the light emitted from them stretches, shifting to longer wavelengths as time goes on. Since wavelength corresponds to energy, with shorter wavelengths being more energetic, this redshifting means the universe has been cooling as it ages. By rewinding this cosmic expansion, we reach a point where everything would have been so hot and dense that neutral atoms couldn't exist, leading to a uniform, searing hot glow. This glow was confirmed in 1964 when astronomers Arno Pensius and Robert Wilson stumbled upon the cosmic microwave background, a pervasive radiation field faintly echoing the universe's fiery origin. Yet, as the JWST pushes the boundaries of cosmic observation, scientists are discovering features in the early universe that strain the traditional Big Bang narrative. We see vast, luminous galaxies where there should be none clustering in ways that defy expectations. So, if the Big Bang Theory alone doesn't explain these anomalies, what else might? The singularity and its limitations. At the heart of the Big Bang Theory lies a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature where the laws of physics break down. This is where space and time supposedly begin. But this concept, while powerful, has limitations. Imagine trying to describe the entirety of existence compressed into an infinitely dense point. This is where our understanding hits a wall. 
Even though many aspects of the Big Bang model have been supported by observations and laboratory experiments, this initial singularity remains an enigma, begging the question. Could the universe have had a different kind of beginning? New discoveries and theories. In its journey to understand the cosmos, science has found ways to recreate similar conditions. Quark-gluon plasma, for instance, has been synthesized in laboratories and matter-antimatter pairs have been produced to align with early universe predictions. Through these experiments, and by analyzing the cosmic microwave background's fluctuations, we have a well-supported picture of the universe's evolution. But significant mysteries remain. For example, if all regions of space were once compressed into a single point, why do we observe such uniformity in the universe's temperature? By traditional models, areas of space should display varied temperatures, since they wouldn't have had time to exchange energy or information. Additionally, we might expect to find remnants from the hottest epochs, such as magnetic monopoles or spatial irregularities, yet none are observed. These discrepancies open the door to new possibilities. One candidate explanation is cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion theorized to have occurred before the Big Bang itself. On December 7, 1979, physicist Alan Goose proposed a revolutionary idea. He theorized that before the hot Big Bang, the universe experienced an exponential expansion. This inflationary phase could explain why the universe appears flat, homogeneous, and isotropic. After inflation, the universe would transition into the hot, dense state associated with the Big Bang, setting the stage for galaxies, stars, and planets to form. However, as scientists now realize, even cosmic inflation does not resolve every anomaly. For example, groundbreaking observations by the JWST have revealed surprisingly large galaxies from the universe's infancy, suggesting an accelerated formation rate that inflation alone doesn't explain. The JWST and new insights into galaxy formation. The JWST's incredible capabilities offer humanity an unprecedented glimpse into the cosmos. This $10 billion infrared telescope has captured breathtaking images of the early universe, revealing an array of massive, luminous galaxies from when the universe was only a fraction of its current age. While astronomers previously believed they had a solid understanding of how matter coalesced to form the first stars and galaxies, the JWST's findings suggest a much more rapid evolution than expected. These observations have stirred excitement and caution among scientists, as some theorists are compelled to revisit fundamental assumptions about galaxy formation. According to astrophysicist Erica Nelson, massive galaxies observed within the first 500 million years of cosmic history defy existing models. The JWST's preliminary findings indicate that galaxies in this early epoch may be far more massive and numerous than previously thought, potentially housing masses comparable to today's large galaxies like the Milky Way. This rapid growth challenges current cosmological models, which propose that a galaxy of such scale wouldn't form until one to two billion years after the Big Bang. Nelson's research suggests that galaxies may be growing more aggressively than anticipated, leading to the possibility of new theoretical frameworks for galactic evolution. Dark matter and dark energy, unsolved mysteries. Dark matter, an invisible and mysterious substance thought to make up about 85% of the universe's mass shapes the large-scale structure of the cosmos. Conventional cosmology suggests that galaxies form within massive halos of dark matter, which gravitationally draw in ordinary matter, allowing stars and galaxies to coalesce. Yet JWST observations challenge this model, as galaxies appear to be forming in ways that defy our understanding of dark matter distribution. The presence of dark energy, an equally elusive force responsible for the universe's accelerated expansion further complicates the picture. Some models suggest that early dark energy, a temporary boost in dark energy density, could have accelerated galaxy formation, potentially aligning with JWST findings. However, such adjustments must reconcile with the broader framework of the standard cosmological model, which has successfully explained cosmic evolution on large scales. Alternative theories of cosmic origins. As compelling as the Big Bang theory is, it's not the only explanation for the universe's origins. Several alternative theories have gained attention, each offering unique perspectives. The quasi-steady state theory, unlike the Big Bang, suggests a universe without a beginning, where matter continually appears as the universe expands. 
However, it fails to account for the CMB, which strongly supports a hot, dense early universe. The mirror universe theory posits that two universes were born in the Big Bang, one moving forward in time, the other backward. This twin universe would evolve in reverse, providing a mirror reflection of our own cosmic history. The digital simulation hypothesis raises the possibility that our universe is a simulation crafted by an advanced civilization. Quantum entanglement and the peculiar nature of space-time lend some conceptual weight to this idea, though it remains unprovable. The simulation hypothesis touches on questions of predestination and reality, challenging our understanding of existence. The multiverse theory, a popular alternative, suggests an infinite number of universes, each with its own physical laws. According to this model, dark energy fluctuations trigger multiple Big Bang-like events, producing a vast multiverse. While our universe expands, creating a void of dark energy, this model implies a continuous cycle of creation, collapse, and rebirth. The future of cosmology and the role of the JWST. Each of these theories offers unique insights into cosmic origins, posing new questions about the nature of space, time, and matter. While the Big Bang Theory remains the prevailing explanation, it has been challenged and reshaped by new evidence and fresh perspectives. The JWST, with its unparalleled sensitivity, is poised to unlock even more secrets of the universe. As the telescope continues its mission, upcoming spectroscopic data will enable more precise measurements of distant galaxies, allowing scientists to refine their understanding of galactic evolution. As the JWST continues to extend our reach into the universe, its findings promise to reshape our understanding of many fundamental cosmic processes. One area that is likely to see substantial revisions is the formation and evolution of galaxies. Traditionally, scientists believe that galaxies formed from small clumps of matter that grew over time, pulled together by gravity. However, the JWST has revealed evidence of galaxies that appear to have formed much earlier than previously thought. These early galaxies are not only larger and more numerous than expected, but also seem to have developed complex structures in a fraction of the time theorists had imagined possible. Conclusion The discoveries made by the JWST, in combination with advancements in other areas of astronomy and physics, will likely lead to a new era of scientific exploration. As we continue to learn more about the early universe, galaxy formation, dark matter, dark energy, and even the possibility of extraterrestrial life, humanity's understanding of its place in the cosmos will be forever transformed. Alice Shapley, an astronomer at UCLA, acknowledged that JWST observations have the potential to fundamentally alter cosmology, pushing scientists to explore new models. But she also cautions that abandoning established theories requires extraordinary evidence. The discoveries of the JWST may prompt incremental adjustments to the Big Bang model or perhaps inspire a paradigm shift in our understanding of the cosmos. As science ventures further into the unknown, we may be entering a golden age of discovery, where each revelation expands the boundaries of human knowledge. The universe, in all its mystery and majesty, continues to captivate and confound, leaving us to wonder if the ultimate answer to our origins is yet to be found. Will we one day look beyond the Big Bang to an even deeper truth? Only time will tell as the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, continues to explore the universe, its contributions promise to open up entirely new frontiers in cosmology. One of the most exciting areas of exploration is the study of exoplanet atmospheres. JWST's advanced capabilities allow it to analyze the light passing through the atmospheres of distant exoplanets with unprecedented detail. This enables scientists to detect chemical signatures that could indicate the presence of life-supporting conditions, such as oxygen, methane, or water vapor. The potential to discover habitable planets outside our solar system is one of the most tantalizing aspects of JWST's mission. The telescope's infrared sensitivity, in particular, makes it ideal for studying the atmospheres of exoplanets that orbit distant stars, some of which may be similar to Earth. Beyond exoplanets, the JWST also promises to advance our understanding of black holes. Supermassive black holes are thought to reside at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. These black holes grow by accreting matter, and in doing so, 
they emit powerful radiation which can be detected by telescopes. JWST's ability to observe these energetic phenomena will help astronomers understand how black holes influence their host galaxies. It may also provide new insights into the relationship between black holes and galaxy evolution, shedding light on how black holes may regulate the formation of stars and the growth of galaxies. Another key area of interest is the study of cosmic dust and gas. JWST's ability to observe in the infrared allows it to peer through the dense clouds of dust that often obscure our view of distant objects in the universe. By studying these clouds, scientists can learn more about the processes of star formation and the behavior of interstellar matter. Understanding how gas and dust come together to form stars and planets is a crucial piece of the puzzle in understanding the evolution of galaxies. The JWST's observations may also help solve some long-standing mysteries related to the nature of dark matter and dark energy. By precisely mapping the distribution of galaxies and clusters, scientists hope to gather more evidence about the role of dark matter in shaping the large-scale structure of the universe. Similarly, JWST's sensitivity to the expansion of the universe could provide critical data to refine our understanding of dark energy and its role in accelerating the universe's expansion. In all these areas and more, the JWST is revolutionizing our understanding of the cosmos. As it continues to gather data, it will help refine existing theories, challenge long-held assumptions, and potentially lead to groundbreaking discoveries that will reshape the field of cosmology for decades to come. The era of cosmic discovery has truly begun.